What I want to do today is connect our Calendly and Instagram for Business apps so that whenever an invitee requests a meeting via Calendly, a photo will automatically be uploaded into our Instagram account. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Calendly to trigger the creation of a post in Instagram for business, I'll need to use Calendly as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click Invitee Created as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Calendly sees that an invitee has scheduled a meeting, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Calendly, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. You'll need to connect your Calendly account with an API token. Go to your Calendly app page and select Integrations on the top of your page. Scroll down to the bottom of your page and select Zapier. Click Go to Setup, and then copy the API key and paste it into your Calendly authorization screen. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. Since we want to post on Instagram, we'll need to use a cloud storage site to upload our file. Let's use Google Drive. Type in Google Drive into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. For your event, select Find a File under the drop-down menu and click Continue. From there, we can select our account and authenticate Google Drive with Zapier. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier has got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. We'll then need to set up our data. Under File Name, we'll need to type in our file exactly how it is listed in our Drive account. My file name is Zapier Instagram Post, so I'll type that into the file name bar and click Continue. Click Test Action and we can move on to our next step. Click the plus button on the bottom of your Zap to open up a new action step. Type in Instagram for Business into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Publish Photo and click Continue. From there, I should log in and authenticate my Instagram account with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. Click Continue and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Instagram Account to Use, select your Instagram account that you want to use for your Zap. Under Photo, select File under the Google Drive drop down menu tab. Last, for the caption, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type, We're hiring. Schedule an interview today. And then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime an invitee requests a meeting on our Calendly app, a photo will automatically be posted on our Instagram account. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.